Hi guys and welcome to La Ebony Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Cancer. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, love, or friend, or foe. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal reading, all info on how to do so is in the description box below. Please do make sure you are looking through all avenues of communication before reaching out to me for a booking. Um, please also do remember that the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So just take what resonates, switch it down, just switch the roles, do whatever you got to do. But whatever you don't got to do is come at me <laughs> in the comments, okay? Um, this is my new um, upcoming tarot deck that is coming out. Um, so if you want to look at the flip through, please go back and watch it. I will be announcing when the pre-orders are coming, okay? um what else do i need to say oh did i say that already please do remember the energies can go vice versa and just take what resonates yeah i think i said that okay <laughs> can't remember so let's see what's coming towards my beautiful cancers oh no the overall energy oh my god just the, the the energies okay it's the full moon is approaching the the retrograde i'm all over the place okay i'm so sorry guys my apologies the overall energy we have is cali shadow and then at the bottom of the deck we got persistence okay so for some of you i definitely feel like there's a dark entity around you okay it's very persistent it won't leave you alone okay um for some of you this could be a person okay this could be your shadow self as well for some of you there could be somebody who's very jealous around you okay and they just won't they're just in your energy they're trying to attach themselves to you some of you could be going through some sort of dark thoughts or some sort of dark times i do find that cancers always seem to have some dark energy around them so i don't know what the fuck is going on but you know please do use this um new moon new moon the full moon please do use that energy to release any dark entities and to protect yourself okay but some of you could just be facing your shadow self maybe there's certain parts of yourself that you need to work on and you know you know that you need to be persistent in terms of like taming yourself taming that inner beast okay really trying to balance yourself out okay so this could be a multitude of things okay so we're just gonna see we'll see what comes out so what's coming towards my beautiful cancers okay that's way too many cords what's coming towards oh my god what's coming towards my beautiful cancers okay so we've got magic here so there could be somebody that's trying to do some sort of dark magic on you okay with these two cards could be a scorpio but it does not have to be or you could have scorpio in your chart okay i feel like this person keeps trying they just keep trying and trying and trying i just heard you can try all you want but you will fail okay for some of you you could just be looking into the dark arts the occult like you could just be reading up about different types of magic or just different types of mysterious things some of you could even just be watching horror movies and things like that okay but there's definitely something magical going on but i definitely feel like your guides are here to protect you like i said for some of you you may need to use the full moon to do your own type of magic to release some sort of negative energy okay yeah, the occultic and the 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 arts the 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 art of magic because that's art that wanted to come up there. So what is coming towards my beautiful cancer? What is coming towards my beautiful cancers? Okay. Yeah. What did I say about balancing the dark and the light in yourself, facing your shadow side? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But yeah, I, I'm hearing you're the yin to my yang, okay? Or like I said, you're trying to balance out your inner demon. There's something that you're trying to face or there is a dark energy that's trying to attach itself to you, okay? Could be your opposite. So it could be um, Capricorn. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, let's see. This card keeps fucking coming out. Every reading, I feel like this card has come out, the friendship card. Some of you, it could be somebody in your circle. And we got family at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Okay. For some of you, somebody in your family is jealous of you. Could be your friend. Could be somebody close to you. If you look, the way that she... I always get drawn to this girl in this card. Like, this person's happy. He's kind of like not really knowing what the fuck's going on. But she kind of looks bitter. So, there's definitely a dark entity around you that's closer than you think. Okay that's not to be trusted for some of you it definitely could be somebody in your family and like i said you've got your guides protecting you and around you okay but yeah there's definitely somebody in the family um for some of you you could be like mixed families so you could be from different heritage different cultures maybe that's why maybe there's a significant difference about you and somebody else that's close to you and they don't like that about you 
Okay, but let's just dig in, shall we? Please can't find magic. I am a heroine here. So some of you, like I said, you're very, very powerful, okay? For some of you, you could be in the spotlight or maybe you've just got a lot of talents. Okay, you're super talented, you're super gifted, and somebody um, is threatened by that. For some of you, you're exploring your gifts and your talents, and like I said, you're going to be a master at whatever it is that you do. You hold a lot of power, okay? For some of you, you know, because, you know, when I think of the heroine, the, the hero, some of you um, go around helping a lot of people, you're there, to, you know, at people's aids when they need them, okay? So there could be somebody trying to take advantage of that, okay? So just be very, very careful, for others of you, you've definitely mastered the two energies within yourself. Because like I said, you stayed persistent in your growth. Okay, yeah, we've got transcendence underneath that. So you, you stayed persistent and you're about to transcend, trans, transcend, transcend, okay? Like you're leveling up, I'm hearing. Yeah, I am calm and relaxed. Keep calm. I feel like somebody's trying to um take you out of character, Okay. But, you know, Kali, she is the destroyer. She makes footstools out of her enemies. Like, you see all those arms around her waist? You see that man's head in her hand? You see all those, those, those bodies she's got around her neck? Like, fuck with who? So somebody could be trying to fuck with you, and they don't, they don't understand your placements or your, the darkness in your chart or the power of your own magic. So I feel like you've got nothing to be worried about, okay? Because you're balanced, okay? So heavy Libra energy here. Please clarify, um... Friends, let's do that again so I don't feel like I shuffled that properly. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh my god. I feel like the table is like too close. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Please clarify, friends. Yeah, and I am optimistic that wanting to come out at the bottom of the deck, I know my worth. So yeah, some of you could be, um, you know, you understand your value. You understand how valuable you are to people as well. How many, how much stuff you have to offer people. How many people that actually need your help. Okay, for some of you, there could be somebody around you that's realizing how, um, how, how much how reliant they are on you so maybe you could have withdrawn yourself from somebody or like with, like someone in your family maybe you just don't fuck with certain people in your family and um you know that's helping you to keep calm and relaxed because you don't like this dark energy that's around you you could have been doing some protective ritual when it comes to magic okay and like somebody in your family is obviously upset about that okay or like i said this could be a friendship circle i'm hearing cousin but it does not have to be okay but you're understanding the core value of yourself some of you could be, like I said, learning about matter. I keep getting that a lot. Learning about the pigmentation within your skin, what your melanin, if you're melanated and you're watching this, what your melanin means, what your hair means, why it's important to have natural hair as well. I actually got a download about natural hair that I might post soon. That could be um, relatable to some people, okay? But somebody definitely sees your value as well. So for others of you, like I said, for those of you that have like, you've really worked on yourself, I feel like you're really going to be getting blessed. Underneath that, we do have I am, fun, I am fun and exciting. So I feel like some fun and exciting news is going to be happening to you. You're going to be getting a lot of upgrades, okay? But yeah, stay optimistic. Some of you are very enthusiastic. Or like I said, there's somebody in your circle that you have high hopes for, but I feel like this person is not to be trusted. For others of you, you're going to be making lots of new connections or a new friendship with somebody okay a new partnership because like i said you've remained balanced okay i feel like i can hear something please clarify i am a heroine we've got guidance here so for some of you most like like, like i said like i said sorry i feel like i can hear something outside the door but you know i'm not gonna go oh it's outside the window okay <laughs> you know, i'm getting freaked out so i don't like doing the readings like when it gets late because it's dark outside like i'll be trying to finish before it gets dark you know but you know what to do like i just gotta do what i gotta do so yeah some of you are definitely like i said you know this is in the row of magic and there's three so the power of three is very significant or six family love home okay some of you are definitely being guided to do something. So if you're guided to do some type of magic, do it. If there's something that you've been told about somebody and you think it, like, do it. 
Okay, we do have skill at the bottom of the deck here. So like I said, some of you are very skilled at something. Or you could be doing something and you don't realise how skilled or how knowledgeable you are. Or you don't know how you know how to do something. You just know it. Okay, somebody also looks up... Somebody looks to you as a guide. So you could be very inspirational to somebody. Or somebody's really learning from you. Or this is how you're viewing somebody else. Okay, but your spirit guides are definitely there to let you know that they are there for you. There's definitely three of them. I'm hearing the power of three. That's very significant. Or maybe it takes free. Yeah, we've got confidence here. So be confident in your abilities. Be confident in the fact that nothing can touch you. Okay, like I said, I definitely feel like you're working on yourself and you're remaining balanced when it comes to a certain thing, a certain place, some sort of information. Okay, but yeah, you need to be confident and enthusiastic about something. Maybe you need to be enthusiastic about a friendship or a partnership that you do have. Maybe there's something telling you that something is dark about this person and it's not. Okay, somebody could be projecting. We've got um, finesse at the bottom of the deck, okay? And then we've got tenacity, so tenacity. 